get back into the game. Oh, I'm excited. The final boss battle. Yeah, I spoiled it. This is the last boss fight. Do I need to get the lever again? I don't know. I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, we've seen this. Anyway, during the cutscene... Oh, uh, run! Run, conquer! It shows us this spacesuit over here. What the heck? Oh, that's the door we were behind. Behind door number three! Conquer the squirrel! I if I can just remember the controls for this thing. It's interesting, it sort of turns into a modified fighting game. Right out. And good riddance. Now it's just you and me, pretty. Oh, yeah, this is sort of a three part. It's like a. I don't know what you'd call it. Uh, it's like paper, rock, scissors almost. Where you've got three moves and, and the alien has three moves. Bam! Bam! Hit the B button to punch. And once you get to the uppercut, you can walk around behind her and we'll grab her tail. So you start turning the control stick. And as he goes, you want to turn it. Just start out slow. Turn it faster and faster. And as time goes by, eventually the alien will no longer be able to hang onto the ground. And you throw her out the door! Or into the wall. Oh, jeez. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Oh, blocked ya. In the face! Yeah, you wanna line up a good shot before you grab the tail, otherwise it can be tough to get her to go out the door. And the weird thing is, you can't just start spinning really quickly at first. You've gotta start by going in slow circles, and then speed up gradually. This can be kind of tough. There we go! That should be it. Got her! Close the door! <laughs> I love how the warning actually tells you exactly what to do. Oh, shoot. Okay, when she spins her tail, you want to jump. So she telegraphs her moves a little bit. Ah, and when she tries to, to bite you, like, ah, yeah. I'm out, of, I'm out of practice for this. And she's pretty quick, so... It's tough. But when she spins her tail, you want to jump over it. When she comes in and lunges at you with her, with her uh, to bite you, you want to hit the left bumper to block. And after you block her, you hit, you're going to hit B to punch. And you just keep hitting it to do three punches, you'll do an uppercut, and that's when she becomes vulnerable to you grabbing her tail and chucking her out. So watch out for the acid blood, too. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, that doesn't come into play. Basically, the first time you walk up, she likes to ah, do the tail spin. I forgot. Okay. Come on. You want some of this? You want some of this? What you want is the lunge, because when you block that, it's a perfect opportunity to punch her in the face! That's four punches, excuse me. I didn't hit the button enough times and the conqueror stopped. Alright, start the wheels are turning. Wheel in the sky keeps on turning. Woo! And she climbs right back in. <laughs> Alright, whoa! Oh, dang, I did the wrong one. If you hit the wrong button, you're basically screwed. So you gotta... Dang, I did it again! I gotta watch how she flinches. There we go. Boom! Gotcha! Gotcha that time, didn't I? Bitch! Start off slow. Gradually speed it up. It took me forever to figure out how to get this bitch spinning. And out the door! Haha! <laughs> Dude, not again! Are you serious? Okay, it's getting pretty intense now. Oh, and she bit me. Did you, you do know that you can block? Yeah, okay. Thanks, announcer guy. Come over here, you. I want to line you up for a good shot. Right, no, that's a jump! Dude! Alright, you got one chance left. I got one chance left. Okay, no singing Mr. Brown's down here. Jump! Jump! Alright, come on, get over here. Once I get you, I want to be able to throw you out. Let's jump. 
Get over here, you. Come on. Let's do this. See, normally she'll dodge you like that. There! Oh, dang, she backed up right after I, right after I blocked. Alright, I'm ready for another go. Let's do this. Oh, and I fucked it up. I'll meet you back at the third round of, third round of the fight. Alright, bitch, just you and me in the third round of the fight. Let's do this. You can jump over my head, huh? See if I can punch you in the face as soon as you turn around. Nope, okay. Sorry. Oh! Oh, no way! Man, I, I had her. Oh, if you're swinging at her after she turns, it's, it's too late, man. There we go. Yes! That's the combo. All I have to do is throw her out, and we've got her. This is number three. Building up speed. Stay on target. Stay on target. And right out the door, you bitch. What? Are you kidding me? Dude, my game froze. What the hell? Oh? Hello? What's going on? Is this a joke? The game's locked up. Ugh! I don't believe it. What is this? Is this the testing department's day off or something? <laughs> hmm. This gives me an idea. Um, hello? Uh, if there are any software engineers that can hear me, just, uh, type something in. Alright, yeah. Hello. Right. Here's the plan. I won't tell anyone that there's been a lockup, quite a bad one at that, left in the game. If you will say, well, I don't know, help me out with this guy here. What do you think? <laughs> mm. Now. Um, get rid of this background. It's really grimy. Ah, that's better. Um, weapons, maybe? Oh, God. Guns. Lots of guns. <laughs> Let's see now. Mm, yeah. Uh, no. What about... Oh. Oh, oh. Yeah. That should do it. Uh, double action. Hmm. Oh. Oh, <laughs> uh, Ooh, shiny you guys. Yeah, right. Okay, take me back to say the throne room. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Now, Mr. Alien, let's see. Okay, let's get in the position. Steady. Just check the shot. There we go. Right. On my mark, and not a moment sooner. Three, two, one, and action. Get her, Conquer. Oh, Ooh. oh no. That's a bit volatile. Well, I'll clean that up later. Well. I suppose that's it. Anything else? Who are these guys? Oh, hello. Lenny! Oh, yeah. oh, if it isn't Conquer! How you doing, Mr. Squirrel? You have defeated the evil panther type king. Yes, sir. We didn't like him either. In fact, there seems to be an empty throne. It's all bloody right, that is. Come on, Conker. Up on to throw with you. What? But I... No, you don't understand. I don't really want to be king. I... Oh. Oh, no, I forgot to... I should have brought Barry back to life. Oh, no. Whoops! Hello, Procomer. Ah, oh, thank God. What are you doing? Get off. It's okay. It'll be good. 
and the rest of the guys. Marvelous. Oh. Yeah. Somebody put him back together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, King. <laughs> <laughs> King, you couldn't be king of a toilet. <laughs> yeah, king of a toilet. <laughs> you don't know how close you are. You realize that? You just do not know. Uh, uh, sir. Sorry. <laughs> yes, King. I can, can I be your general? Oh, no. Of all the people in the world that I don't like, I'm in a room full of them. I've heard the good news. We came back from holiday as soon as we could. One of the cogs. Just to celebrate with you on this wonderful, momentous occasion. Didn't we, ladies? There we go. The king is dead. Long live the king. Yeah, long live the king. Long live the king. <laughs> yeah, yeah, long live the king. Will you stop repeating me? I'm not repeating him. Long live the king. <laughs> yeah, long live the king. Long live the king. Long live the king. Long live the king. Connor looks so pleased. So, there I am. King. King of all the land. Who'd have thought that? <laughs> Not me. I guess you know who these guys are now, because I certainly do. I don't want to know them. And yep, I may be king. I have all the money in the world, and all the land, and all that stuff. But you know, I don't really think I want it. I just want to go home with Barry, and I don't know. Have a bottle of beer. Hmm. It's not gonna happen. It's true what they say. The grass is always greener. And you don't really know what it is you have until it's gone. 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 <laughs> oh man, the end of another spectacularly fun LP. This game cracks me up from beginning to end. I can't even begin to explain. Well, I have explained. Throughout the entire game I've explained. Uh, the excruciating uh, attention to detail and all the content detail that was put into this game is astounding. When you compare this game to other things like Donkey Kong 64 or like Banjo-Kazooie or something, you think, okay, Conqueror starts out with six health at the beginning of the game, and that same six health is sufficient for the entire game. If they'd wanted to, they could have put in like some other some other squirrel thing, like big big pecans or big nuts or somewhere that you could collect. And once you had ten, you get another piece of health, oh, with more collectibles and things to do. But this game doesn't need crap like that. You you don't the sort of content that you waste so much time on. Like, looking for heart pieces, you know, stuff like that. It can be fun in some games, but in this game, it really just doesn't need it. The game is, is really good without that. And it makes perfect sense, because Conker never really... Uh, he doesn't grow much as a character in the game, but uh, you definitely get to know him better. The characters around him change a bit. It's, in it's really interesting, and I gotta say, the characters are another thing that makes this game great. So many hilarious characters, and that scene at the end there, I think, is just designed to remind you as the game is ending how how far you've come, and how just how many interesting people you met along the way. You, you fought a Terminator hay bale with a talking pitchfork, assisted in the cog rape of several female cogs so that you could turn a winch to strangle a dog shark, or at least wrangle him in so that you could help the catfish get their money out of a safe that had a combination like something an idiot would have on his luggage. This game is just so 
so big when you think about it. So many different things. And then the movie parodies. You had like The Godfather, The Matrix, Clockwork Orange, had Saving Private Ryan. I mean, if, that's, that's, that's just four. I'm probably forgetting one or two, but oh my god. And the game is has huge replay value. The second time you go through it, I think you actually, once you beat the game, uh, you can unlock, you can turn cursing on. And so everywhere there was a bleep in this LP, if you were to do uh, like a New Game Plus run, you could turn that off, turn off the bleeping, I mean, and they would, you would just hear whatever the voice actors said when they were recording it. Which, I don't know, that could change the quality of the game. I find it kind of funny, actually, just to hear just when the bleeping is going on. So, I don't know. I'll probably just leave it the way it is. That's why I did this LP. It's not a New Game Plus, because I just wanted to leave it like the original playthrough. And I gotta say, this is a... This was a really fun one to do, and uh, I got—I really appreciated the comments that you guys were leaving me because there were a couple times that things were a reference that I didn't—I didn't catch the first time through, and you guys alerted me to, like the Saving Private Ryan, because I'd never seen the movie, you know, stuff like that. But uh, it's pretty good stuff. I got a Chucky Pooh's lament. Ah, uh, yes, my butt. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, uh, Queen Bee got squashed though. That kind of sucks. She wasn't there at the end. We, we needed a queen, didn't we? Uh, I guess not. No, well, yeah, since Barry's gone. It's another thing, it's interesting. They didn't feel necessary to give this game a rosy, happy ending. No smiley faces and puppy dogs for, for Conquer. That's just not their style. Whoa. <sighs> so, what'll it be? Um, Scotch. Single malt. Space eyes. No ice. Huh? <laughs> A man of taste. There you go. Whoa, whoa there, cowboy. Keep it coming. <clears throat> oh, leave the bow. Yeah. Looking a bit down. What's the matter? Ugh, you wouldn't believe it. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. I'll just drink this. Ugh. Doesn't look too good tonight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next LP. Your butt! That's right, my butt! Ugh.